just a very quick thing before we hop in today's video we are just about to launch our CapCut masterclass where we will teach you everything that you need to know about CapCut starting from a complete beginner and in the end you will be able to make some viral videos just using CapCut first link below that like button will bring you to our pre-launch website where you can sign up for free and you'll get some updates and you'll be the first one to receive the message when we're live so check out the first link below that like button and make sure to don't miss it so welcome back to the channel. In case you're new here, super glad to have you. My name is Julian. I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. And on this channel, I share tips and tricks on how you can make some better videos just using your smartphone. Doesn't matter if you're using an iPhone or an Android phone, we will definitely have you covered. In today's video, I'll share three features that CapCut has released recently. In case you don't know CapCut, this is basically probably the best video editing software that you can use basically for free. It works on iPhones, on Android, phones on Macs and also on Windows computers and it's just a super powerful program and in case you want to see an entire overview over the program then I will link a video that I made up there but today like I said I'll share my top three features that they have recently released. So the video you just watched, believe it or not, this was just shot on a smartphone. I know it's pretty crazy, but you can do this with a smartphone. And something that is actually very, very important with these kinds of videos is the audio and the sound effects. And this will be the first feature that we check out in this video. So audio is half of the viewing experience and checking out this video without sound, you know, it's still nice, but it's nowhere near to that standard as it was before. And CapCut recently has updated their audio features here inside of cap cut and you know adding sound effects is just super super important basically the goal is you know everything that you can see in a video should also be audible and this just in the end will make your video just so much more cinematic and it will just be you know a completely different level the way and how this works is super simple i have imported the final video inside of here and there is no audio right now so we want to just add some of the sound effects because as you can see here we have a zoom in effect and here we have a speed ramp and so on and it's very important to hear all of these things that you're seeing usually the way and how you would do this is you would have to go to a platform like artlist for example and then you download all the audio files and then you basically start working with them here inside of CapCut, just go on to audio and then here below music, you can find sound effects. And basically, for example, if we're starting off with the speed ramps transition right here or with the speed ramp, you know, I want a whoosh sound effect. And basically all I'm doing is just search for whoosh and then CapCut just offers me a bunch of different options. Whoosh with echo. I think that sounds pretty good. And then basically all we need to do is we just need to align the effect with the sound effect. And that's basically it. that's how it works. If we move on a bit further into the video here, you can see we have a river next to Alex here walking. So we just search for river and then basically let's just see what they came up with. Yeah, there we have a river basically just drag and drop that into the video. And in case you want to fade it in, fade it out so that it's not such a harsh transition, basically just come here to audio and then you can just fade it in, fade it out. And as you can see, this audio file is just way too long. So just shorten it down to the length that's appropriate for your clip. And there you go. So overall, I think this is just super cool that this is included directly within CapCut here. You do not have to leave the program and search on different websites. You can, of course, if you want to, but it's not needed. And what's also really cool, you can not only add sound effects like this, but you can also add music. And in the end, you will receive a video as you have seen before. 
The next feature that I want to show you is the AI cutout feature and I could use that for example if I was making an ad for a smartphone filmmaking pro for our webinar. I could say like just sign up right here and check it out for free as it definitely will be worth it. So the goal with this AI cutout feature is to cut out everything that's behind me because I'm sitting here in my flat and basically I just want to you know add a different background to myself. I could show off a screen recording, I could show off I don't know the beach or sunset whatever I like and you know doing this within Premiere Pro for example which is a very popular program this is just basically super super hard to do and this will take forever and I'll just show you how quickly how easy and how awesome it works here within CapCut basically just select the clip and then here under the area of video instead of staying here in basic go over to cutout and then you have two options you have first off here the chroma key and you will need this in case you're using a green screen then you will do it up here but since we don't have a green screen we just go here to auto cutout and as you can see it's processing here in the background it's working super fast and now this is basically done if we can play it back you can see it's doing a pretty good job, especially considering my weird hair. And now if we want to add a background, so I have imported here a, a screen recording. Basically, we just drag this into the timeline and then we just put the video of myself above this clip. Then we can also come here over to basic and change the scale so that this is basically filling the entire screen. We can match these up, we can align it and now we have, you know, myself in front of my screen recording. And in case I'm making an advertisement for our starter course here, for example, or whatever that I'm doing, it's just super nice doing it that way, super easy. And li like I said before, doing this in Premiere Pro or in Final Cut, for example, this will take absolutely ages. And the last feature that I wanna show you in this video is for all of you that are posting to social media regularly. You know, if you're posting to Instagram, for example, the default thumbnail that is picked, also if you're posting a reel, is the very first frame. And in the meantime, Instagram has updated their, you know, their algorithms and you can change the thumbnail afterwards. But if you wanna do it directly within CapCut, they also have a very nice feature doing this. And this is also a very nice feature for all of you that just want to have a nice preview file. So the way and how this works is also super simple. You can see we're still here in our timeline and here at the very left bottom, you can see click to edit cover. We just tap on that very quickly. And then what we can do is we can just select, you know, any part of our final video. So for example, again, if I wanted to um, show off the starter course, what's all included there, then of course I could do this, but I could also go to my local drive and then import a clip from my hard drive. So I'll just pick, I don't know, anything. I'll just have this car right here. Then we can frame it. We can do whatever we want. And then, yeah, we can just tap here on complete. And then the thumbnail of our Instagram reel will be this car. Of course, it's not appropriate for this reel that I'm showing you right here. But I think it's still cool that it works that way and that you can do it super fast and super easy. So there you have it. Three super cool features that work within CapCut. You can also use the same features on your smartphone. And again, as I've mentioned before, at the beginning of the video, we are currently making an entire course, you know, starting from the very beginning all the way to some advanced editing techniques where we show you everything within this free program CapCut. In case you're interested in that, again, it will be the first link below that like button. Sign up for free and also a huge thanks to CapCut for supporting the channel for supporting this video definitely make sure to check it out as it's just for free thanks so much for watching in case you're not subscribed yet then make sure to do so it's helping out the channel and I'll talk to you in the next one